Welcome to this meditation practice, which is based on the view of non-dual Tantra. By aligning our practices with the view, we can start to see through our misunderstandings that obscure the true nature of ourselves, others, reality, and the divine. The view isn't just a theoretical understanding, but a way of seeing and experiencing reality. It's a map that guides us towards a direct experience of the truth. And when we align our practices with the view, we empower our practice to help us realize this truth. Christopher Wallace writes in his book, Tantra Illuminated, that the great master Abhinava Gupta suggested to us that if you practice from the perspective that you're not good enough as you are, then your practice can never fulfill its ultimate purpose because you're practicing based on a wrong understanding and that your practice can only go as far as fulfilling the limited purpose that has been conceived by your limited ego mind. However, if you undertake your practice with the right view of yourself, that you are already perfect and whole, you are a perfect and whole expression of the divine, and that you're practicing to realize and express what is already true, then you have empowered your practice and it's going to take you all the way. Now, what I'd like to do is first share with you the very first part of the view as Wallace has written in Tantra Illuminated. All that exists throughout all time and beyond is one infinite divine consciousness, free and blissful, which projects within the field of its awareness a vast multiplicity of apparently differentiated subjects and objects, each object an actualization of a timeless potentiality inherent in the light of consciousness, and each subject, you, and I, the same plus a contracted locus of awareness. So as we begin this meditation, let's keep in mind the importance of aligning our practice with the view of non-dual Tantra and allow ourselves to be guided towards a more precise and accurate understanding of our true nature and the true nature of reality. Let's begin. Begin by getting settled in a comfortable position, allowing your body to relax and release any tension or stress that you might be holding. taking a couple of long, slow breaths. Settling in and allowing your awareness to turn inward into the still, silent place in your heart. And from this place of inner stillness, open yourself to the possibility of having a direct experience of the words that you're about to hear. Instead of trying to understand these words through creating mental images or concepts, allow yourself to experience them as a felt sense without the need to make meaning of them. Simply allow yourself to be present with these words, letting them take you on a journey of 
exploration and discovery. So taking a few more slow, deep breaths now. And allowing yourself to settle in even deeper into this space of inner stillness and openness. Allowing yourself to be fully present, fully alive and fully receptive to the transformative power of this practice. Now allow yourself to sense or feel that all that exists through all time and beyond is one infinite divine consciousness. And this Consciousness is not separate from you, but in fact, it is you. You are the one infinite divine consciousness, and as such, your true nature is wise, creative, and blissful. Allow yourself to let go of any ideas or beliefs that may be blocking your awareness of this truth. And just allow this truth to be revealed to you in its own time and in its own way. And just allowing yourself to rest in this awareness that the one infinite divine consciousness is the underlying pattern of reality. And that this pattern is the blueprint of all creation It's the foundation upon which all existence rests. It is the very fabric of the universe. It's the organizing principle that gives rise to all that exists. Every thought, Every feeling, every experience that you have is an expression of this underlying pattern of consciousness. Now allow yourself to focus on the quality or characteristic of knowing that is inherent in this pattern. This pattern is alive and aware and knowing all that ever was, is, or will be. Sense this quality of knowing. Allow yourself to recognize that this pattern knows itself through all that it creates. Every thought, every feeling, every experience that you have is a divine expression of this infinite consciousness. And so it follows that knowing these things you are also knowing the infinite consciousness itself.
in every moment you are granted the opportunity to intimately know the pattern Now, allow yourself to focus on the characteristic of creativity that is also inherent in this pattern. It has a deep and abiding creative urge to express and experience itself in an infinite diversity of ways. The pattern shapes into existence an infinite variety of forms, objects like mountains and streams, deserts and oceans, suns and stars and moons, as well as subjects, you and I, and also all living beings, including plants and trees and insects and animals. In every moment, the pattern is birthing something new and unique into existence. The pattern is alive, dynamic, and teeming with creative possibility. Feel the power and the potential of this realization as a felt sense, knowing that what you are is imbued with this infinite creative potentiality, and that every creative urge that you experience is the movement of the pattern in, through, and as you. Recognize that this pattern doesn't reject any experience or expression. From the sacred to the profane, from the holy to the hostile, this pattern allows everything to exist. Feel the power and the potential of this realization. Knowing that what you really are has the capacity to hold every experience and every creative expression of the pattern without rejecting it, without pushing it away, without denying it, but also without clinging to it or trying to hold on to it. Now, allow yourself to focus on the characteristic of activity, which is also inherent in the pattern. Recognize that the pattern is active and constantly in motion. It's always in some stage of action, whether it's manifesting new forms of expression, sustaining existing ones, 
or dissolving those that are no longer needed or even concealing and revealing different aspects of its infinite potentiality. This pattern is always in motion. Feel the power and the potential of this realization. The nature of the pattern is that in any moment, an infinite number of experiences and creative expressions are manifesting, are being sustained, and are being destroyed. The infinite activity of the pattern is incomprehensible to your mind, but it can be felt and experienced directly. Embrace the mystery and the wonder of this pattern as you open up to the possibilities of what it means to be an integral part of this infinite activity. As you continue to rest in this awareness of the one infinite divine consciousness, the pattern that underlies all reality, allow yourself to recognize that this pattern is unborn and undying. It has always existed and will always exist beyond time and space. It is beyond birth and beyond death. It's beyond the limitations of the physical body and the ego mind. It is the very essence of life itself, the eternal and infinite consciousness that is the source and sustenance of all existence. sense and feel into the power and potential of this realization as you are this infinite consciousness which is all-knowing, which is creative and active and that has the capacity to hold all experiences and expressions, not because it feels like it, but because that's its true nature. It has no preference. Every single expression that has emerged from the pattern has emerged because the pattern willed it into existence. Feel yourself as this infinite consciousness. And feel that this body mind called you is just one expression that has emerged from the pattern. It is one form that right now is being sustained by the pattern, just like everything else.
recognize that the real power and potential comes in a direct understanding that you are not the body mind and neither is anyone else. You are the pattern which knows, which creates, which is active and which is unborn and undying just like everyone and everything else. As one awakened teacher said, everything is what you are appearing as that. Everything is what you are appearing as a mother, a father, a daughter, a son, a friend, a co-worker. Everything and everyone is what you are, appearing as an artist, a musician, a doctor or scientist, but also that homeless person, that prostitute, that drug addict. Everything and everyone is what you are, including the ocean, the mountains, the desert, the very surface that you're sitting on right now. Everything is what you are appearing as that. direct experience and knowing of this, you'll always feel connected. Direct experience and knowing of this truth, you'll never fear death again. Knowing this is what it means to see reality clearly. As you slowly begin to come back into the room, allowing your breath to be the bridge between your inner world and your outer world, just barely open your eyes so that there's only a tiny little bit of light coming through, a tiny little bit of light revealing itself. And see if you can sense as a direct experience that the pattern is the very power that is looking through your body mind right now. And just opening your eyes a little bit more so that they're only about halfway open. Keeping your vision soft and unfocused. 
can you sense as a direct experience that the power that's looking through these eyes is the power of the pattern using this body mind as a vehicle to experience reality to experience life and then gently opening your eyes all the way but keeping that very soft focus allowing shape and form and light and color to become apparent to you. And just notice if you can sense as a direct experience, even now, that the power that's looking through these eyes, that's experiencing the environment through this body mind called you is the power of the pattern. In fact, the very power that's looking through your eyes is also looking through billions of other pairs of eyes at this very moment. Now, listen to the view once again. All that exists throughout all time and beyond is one infinite divine consciousness, free and blissful, which projects within the field of its awareness a vast multiplicity of apparently differentiated subjects and objects. Each object, an actualization of a timeless potentiality inherent in the light of consciousness, and each subject, you and I, the same plus a contracted locus of awareness. And just noticing if anything has shifted for you as you heard the view the second time, even subtle shifts. And as you emerge fully back from this practice, allow yourself to be gently aware of the shifts that will take place over the coming hours and days and even weeks ahead. It's always a good idea to return to this practice on a regular basis until you actually have a direct experience of what the words are pointing towards. This is what it means to align your practice with the view. <laughs>